Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy back with a new video this week on building a cool site menu with a subcategory. So uh, normally you have the site menu with different elements, but we want to take this one step further and add sublists to those items. So nothing real fancy, but let's see how to do it. I've already started my app, a uh, simple blank app with the type Angular. I've um, went into the folder and then generated these four pages. So we need a menu page to host the actual menu template. Then we want to have one page that's a top level category. And then we want to have a category with two children. So these are our two child pages. Just pick Flutter for, I don't know, whatever reason. So let's not save this, but run this. Um, which will bring us to this routing file. So um, I changed my wording here. I think routing is uh, pretty much what the American people say. I think routing um, is more the English version or the British English version, whatever, not really related to Ionix. So let's remove all of these, but make sure that you uh, let us cut them out um, because we can paste them in another file again. We will also get rid of the home route and change this one to be our menu, which means our app now starts with the menu page. So therefore we can also delete the home folder anyway, and then head over to our menu module, um, which will uh, host inside the HTML, the actual menu stuff. So we're gonna add a children array in here like you've seen in another video about the site menu, perhaps already. And in here, we now have the real routes, uh, the route uh, for the different menu entries. And uh, we don't need to have another level of complexity here by saying whatever child or something. We can just make this um, by creating a right structure for the menu elements and then displaying it accordingly. Just make sure that you change this path, which should be one level up and then the page and now we're good to go. Um, also, if you keep it like this, we will just navigate to menu in the beginning and not to any routes. So uh, that's not going to happen. Um, not to any children. And therefore we have to add a little redirect and actually in front of this, because if we would pick um, the redirect to the end, uh, that means we or the Angular router goes to this file and then resolves this one immediately first and goes into this and then we're not even reaching it. So um, make sure to put it in the front of it. So redirect, um, actually we should add a path as well. So for the empty path, we want to redirect to slash menu slash main. And also we don't want to apply this all the time. So we need to say path match full otherwise this would strike every time we get into this route so um, we only want it if we're really browsing to the empty route okay i'm getting better with this feeling more confident okay moving on to the pages of our app which are uh, main ionic and flutter and all of these need an ion buttons slot start uh, in order to show the menu button at the top so ion menu um, is it toggle or button I think it's button right I hope so so do this in all of your files and of course like always add the color <laughs> I was too fast for myself in that spot add the color primary uh, to the toolbar that's um, very important for the sub menu otherwise it won't work um, okay just kidding uh, Please don't sue me on that. Um, main, Ionic and Flutter is ready. And now we can move on to the menu implementation. And for the menu, we want to set up a little structure in here for our pages. So we could get this information as well from a JSON file or from a web service API, whatever you want. We'll just do it in here because it's, um, not super common to get your menu items from an API, although it can happen and it is totally fine. For now, we will do it like this, which might um, be used a bit more often. So the first one is our main one. And this one simply just like a standard menu item that we've used before, 
uh, with a little URL and perhaps also you want to add an icon like home. And now the funny part begins because for the second one, this one will not have the same information like this. It might also have a title. So that's like cool frameworks, the title for the category, which can be clicked. But then uh, we don't specify URL um, unless you want on a click of the header of that element also to open something. But I think that's not really the idea of a submenu or accordion anyway. So this will then have children and in here we now start the same pattern again and therefore say Ionic, Ionic, icon, uh, logo, Ionic. I think that's even in there and for Flutter, sorry, uh, no icon yet, but I think let's just use the Google icon. So this means we have to find a way to dynamically or general or however generate the menu based on this information which uh, could have just a top level that should immediately open uh, the view or a category that hosts children and of course in the children we could now also go ahead and have the same again like title and children if you want to create a, a menu with more sub level but we're not uh, creating the view for this you might add a bit more of code then but it would be totally fine as well um, anyway, let's go to our menu and start with the general, um, let's just remove this with the general menu setup. I will not surround that with a split pane today just because, I don't know, because we don't need it all the time, although it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, inside the ion menu, we got the ion header, which of course also needs the primary color. All the colors have to be matched, otherwise uh, your app will explode. And then inside the ion content, let's remove this one. And here we will now iterate uh, over ng4 let of pages. We will now iterate all the blocks of our pages array that we created up front and create the menu items. And then below the ion menu, we got the ion router router <laughs> outlet. Uh, it will take me some weeks. Please be patient with me. I try my best. Okay, so we got the pages in here and at the top level, we now still follow the same uh, pattern like if we would create a normal menu with the items. So we got the iron menu toggle, but this one will only be displayed if the one got the URL. Because the problem is um, if we would use the iteration on the menu toggle and create all the items as menu toggles, we would immediately close the menu if we click on the category header and that's of course wrong. So we're gonna just do it like this and then we will have an ion button below this or let's use an ion item button like this and if uh, this one got children or P, mm, yeah. Let's use the safe navigation operator in here so our app is not crashing at that point. And what we want to do on this ion item, let's close this for now, is so this will take care of this part, right? And potentially all the other parts that you have where you got subcategories. Um, on click, we want to open the category and therefore we will simply set an open value on the page itself and set it to not open. So in the beginning, this will always be false. So once you click it the first time, it will become uh, active or true or whatever you want to call it. And also let's give this one the active parent category um, if the category is open. So then we can switch between the bit styling and highlight that we have currently opened this one and also let's make detail false because otherwise this will also get an error uh, which doesn't really look that good okay so now we got the top level defined let's dive into this one this is pretty easy because we just need to print out the information maybe i can just bring it in because it's the same like we have done so many times before um, we create an item and we need to wrap it in this menu toggle so the menu is automatically closed we could also do all of this from code, but it's nice to have this uh, menu toggle, right? 
So then we got the item, which of course has the router link using the URL of the item direction root, because that is what I think looks the best with a site menu. And also, um, if this link is active, we want to apply the active class. So we later need, we can also open this already, uh, define the active class and the active parent class like this. Um, in previous versions of the menu toggle, I also had a function to um, determine if the item is active, but using the router link is actually a lot easier. So go ahead with this makes life super easy. Okay, perfect. Now onto our parent category. So for the parent category, we just um, need inside this item. Yes, a bit more than that. Let me bring it in. We just need an ion icon. So in front of the category and ion icon that we can switch around. Um, so the category is opened or closed and then the um, label for the title. And let's see if this already works. Um, I'll just go to the empty, which brings us back to main. Perfect. And then we got this one looking good so far. We can navigate to main and on cool frameworks, nothing happens, but the error changes. So that's pretty good so far. Now we just need to display the subcategory below, which means, um, we will open another ion list inside and only display this list if the category or the page is open. And within here, we can actually reuse this part, I think. Um, this one could be removed. Okay, we could have some more iteration and I think we could maybe even do it like a recursion uh, thing. I don't know, might work, but if you want more levels just inside this list, start again with the code from the top and then iterate the children of that children and so on, okay? But for now, we just want to display these children. We know all of them should have now um, little uh, URLs. So we don't need this one. So we can keep this, this, um, this one all. No, of course not because right now we need to iterate over something different because we need our sub information and this one's in uh, let's sub of p the children and of course now we can change this one as well no that's not paste that was open the site menu okay we can use for the router link sub dot url right now and then for the link active we will keep it like this but of course the icon is also sub icon and that's subtitle okay now, if we click the parent item, the list will be open and we should see a list of all our children. So let's give it a try. And there we go. Boom. And we can even click them. Ionic, Flutter, still the same and main. So by now we have actually already implemented all of the functionality, but it's not really looking that good yet. So let's head over to the menu page and, um, I think I forgot some uh, class in here. Uh, yeah, for the ion item here, we should also add the sub item class. So um, these items will get a bit different styling in here as well. So in general, for the active item, let's set the ion text color to, we can use the variable function ion color primary. And this will only um, color the text, but we also want to color the ion icon. So therefore uh, we need to set this for the ion icon. Um, I think it's ion text color RGB because otherwise it wasn't working. I'm not 100% sure if it should be like this or not. Um, so be careful, maybe inspect the element if it has changed with the later ionic version. Then for the active parent. So clicking a header of the subcategory, let's just make the text a bit bigger and the user gets what is open. And for the item or the sub item, let's use a little padding to the left. Um, that's what we're used to from those sub lists and whatever, if you want, you can also decrease the font size to let's say small for now. And then if we go back to our app, 
we should hopefully see that the active item, which is right now main, is colored in blue. This one gets a bigger font or the font weight is increased if we open it. And then we can also see that those items are also activated. And I pretty much enjoy using my own uh, site menu. I don't know why. Anyway, um, that was a quick, quick win today. I think that's the idea behind the quick win, right? So uh, from here, what you could do as well is and uh, add another level to the sub menu. So we have two levels right now, I think two, and you could add a third or fourth, but of course the space will be a bit limited on a mobile device. So be careful. I think two or three levels are definitely enough and you shouldn't do more. What we also could do is outsource or refactor the element we've used in two places for the actual menu item. Um, so that's another idea to make your menu even a bit easier. I hope you enjoyed this quick win. If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button below this video and also the like button. I don't know if I got my fingers right, but do it right below the video uh, and check out all the other videos on Ionic on this channel and my other stuff. So go to the Ionic Academy, go to the DevTactic blog, follow me everywhere and I'll catch you inside the next video.